Umbrella Academy Vanya Hargreaves life lessons to discovering her true purpose and fulfilling her true potential. Are you a fan of Umbrella Academy? Comment below if you are a fan. Today, what I'm going to talk about is what does it look like? What's the journey look like to discovering your full potential and your true purpose? Early childhood programming. Stand up straight, every one of you. Dad, you forgot me. I did not. Eyes ahead. Quickly now. Dad. Dad. Dad! No talking. Stand still. Vanya, at an early age, she was told what to do and she experienced a lot of rejection within her family and she was told that she was ordinary. And you might be experiencing the same thing. The journey in your early childhood is as children, we are told what to do, we are told what's, what the definition of success is for us and we are placed upon this journey to fulfill other people's values of what success is and most often it's your parents or your guardians. So Vanya was on this journey in her childhood where she was expected to perform a certain way, expected to do certain things, and expected to produce certain outcomes. And so she wasn't allowed room to think for herself and she was not taught how to think. An environment outside of your control. It was an accident. I understand. More research is required to determine whether your behavior can be regulated. When you're growing up, you don't have a lot of choices about your environment. Your parents or your guardians make decisions around where you live, where you go to school, and also what are your closest friends that you associate most with. So as a result, your environment is a reflection of their values and a reflection of what's important to them and their hopes and dreams of a future for you, which they believe in, their best, in your best interest, what's best for you. Then at some point in your life, you feel the need to discover your own identity. My studies this evening pertain to music. I wonder if I could borrow it? Take it and go. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is, Vanya. I will learn to play it. I am going to be extraordinary. Put your whole heart into it. One day you will be. And the point at which this occurs is different for everybody. But the key driving force for this to happen is agency. So what do I mean by that? Agency is a person's capacity to make their own free choices. And when we feel this agency coming up inside of us, it's different for everybody. And so you feel the need to search for who am I and you're wanting more, you're wanting improvements and you go out there, you connect with your passions, you look for what it is that interests you at your core and that could be long lasting interest. So you go out there looking for what it is you were meant for, who you were meant to be and at the same time wanting more, wanting to be more but oftentimes not, know, not sure exactly what that might, that might be. And this is the point at which you spend time on things that you're good at and you spend time on things that you're interested in and maybe sometimes you spend time trying to become extraordinary at something. Then you start to encounter outside influences that speak to you. I got a call earlier that they're holding auditions for first chair of my orchestra. That's great news. You get a chance to audition. No, no, I'm, I'm not ready for that. Oh, no. You are an amazing violinist. I'm telling you, if you believe in yourself for once, Great things are going to happen for you. You can start to encounter some situations and people that give you feedback that you've never heard before, or things you haven't considered. It might be someone you met for the first time who notices how talented you are and gives you feedback on the gifts and, and the gifts that you have that you never realized. Or maybe it's a long-term friend you have that's taken you for granted and just realizes for the first time that you have a lot of value that you've added to her life. Maybe it's a family member who realizes that they never gave you opportunities to expand your scope of, of gifts and they're starting to realize that you're now in your true element. Whatever that is, 
You need to be listening. You need to open your mind to listen to that feedback, to listen to those outside influencers who are trying to tell you something. So practice active listening and keep your mind open to what they're saying. Then once you've collected all this feedback about yourself, just start to form new beliefs about yourself. But the important thing is that you take all of this in with wisdom and discernment. Are you a fan of Umbrella Academy? If so, who is your favorite character? Comment below. The journey is not over yet. We all wanted to be loved by a man incapable of giving love. Our father never missed an opportunity to remind me that I was ordinary. A hard thing for a little girl to hear. If you're raised to believe nothing about you is special, if the benchmark is extraordinary, what do you do if you're not? So by now you will have, as you go on, you experience some successes, some failures, and maybe some things that don't turn out quite the way you expected or the way that you wanted. And maybe there are some situations where you feel like you've gone down the wrong path or you're scared that people who notice you or they see with your situation you're at right now and they might feel that you're acting in a way that's incongruent to who you are or you're scared about what they might be thinking of you. But it's important to know that the journey is not over yet and sometimes the situation that you're in may feel like it's the wrong one for you or might feel like a failure, but you won't have clarity on that until you're a few steps ahead. Because sometimes when you try to judge your situation that happened to you right now, sometimes it doesn't make sense and sometimes it may seem like a failure, but in the bigger picture of things as you progress further a, a few steps ahead, then you look back on it and you realize that it had to happen to get to where you are right now. Discovering your truth and purpose is much like achieving success, which means that it is a process and not an event. So rather than judging whether or not you've been successful by looking at a snapshot of your life, try to look at it in terms of the bigger picture. Is it moving you towards your goal? Is it moving you towards your, your career goals and where you want to be? And oftentimes when you look at it that way, then the way we feel right now about our current situation, the way we feel right now of what's happening right now in your life, so bad. It may not feel like a, a failure and you will, you will notice that you don't need to be what other people think. One final key point to remember is that this, the measure of success is actually the sum of all its key parts. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell so you receive notifications each time I upload a new video every single week.